Hello, my name is Gordon and welcome to Festool TV. Today I'm going to show you how to create simple mitre joints using the DF500 Domino Jointer with a minimum of setup and marking out. In order to gain the maximum strength for our joint, I am going to fit two dominoes using these two simple reference points on the machine. The first reference point are these black stops here. And secondly, I'm going to use the machined edge of the body of the DF500. Making sure I have the DF500 set at the appropriate height for the thickness of the material. The only marking out needed here is just a simple pencil line to remind me which surface I'm working from. Then, using the black reference stop first, we will make our first cut. And then next, working in the same direction, I'm going to align the machined edge of the DF500 with the machined edge of the timber. Now all I have to do is repeat the process in the opposite direction, using the black stop here. And there you have the perfect joint. And of course, we can use exactly the same procedure to create this type of mitre joint too. If your material is wide enough, then use both of the black stops. If not, use the same procedure as before with the machined edge of the DF500. A good question at this point is how to set the height of the DF500 so that the domino does not break through the materials here and here. A simple way is to start with the height of the base set to minimum. And then you should be guaranteed to set the domino through the thickest part of the joint. Alternatively, this corner of the casting here is the centre line of the domino cutter. So you can mark a line across your mitre and simply align that corner to the pencil mark here and then drop the plate to the material. And there you have another perfect and strong mitre joint. Quick, easy and with a minimum of fuss. I'm Gordon and thanks for watching Festool TV.